alrighty, gatekeeper here. Uh, just to show you all my dedication. I'm pretty sure I got strep throat right now. Feeling like utter most dog poo-poo. But I'm still out here trying to get the dog on jobs done, fellas. Oh, God. Alrighty, we got a... Uh, you can call it a Matico, Mako, uh, Matico, or um, I've seen a couple of different names for this amp, but uh, this is an amp that I had for a good little while because I did not have a top for it, and I never could locate a top. So guess what I've done? I made my own cut picking top. It looks actually fairly good, to be honest with you. It got me some. Uh, some sort of uh, aluminum, or maybe it's galvanized steel, maybe. I think it's galvanized steel from Home Depot. And I bent this sucker myself. Turned out really good, actually. Heck, it's a top, you know. Even got it overlapping on the front a little bit right there. Uh, Redrilled four 440 uh, screws for it. Alrighty, um, I got quite a few of these I've repaired. I can't quite remember what's in this one. I think it's some SRF. Uh, we'll pop the top off of it here after we do an output test and kind of just go through everything that was done. I do know right off the rip the uh, high-low medium switch was bad. I had to actually order one for this. I didn't have any laying around. So this right here is a new switch. Um, the middle, the middle is low. Up is medium. Down is high. I could write that on there with a marker. I just don't want to mess it up. I ain't the neatest writer in the world. And I would like to say, uh, the way this amp right here is designed, I got one side of it screwed off so I could just uns unscrew this side so I won't have to turn the amp over and everything sitting on the bench here. Just want to let you know that's the only reason why that's doing that. I already took the screws out of it. <laughs> um, I did replace all the LEDs with these blue ones. Two or three of them are blown. Just went ahead and replaced them. Um... This box is only to be made ran on high with a low watt radio. Okay, I'm going to let you know that. That's the way a lot of these older amps are actually designed. But uh, what I've done is I've done a little bit of extra work so you can run a higher wattage radio in it on low and medium. But if you put this thing on high with the radio I'm running now, you'll see it's going to pull over 15 amps and it's going to swing backwards on the amperage meter be honest with you putting this in high position would be perfect for like a 5 watt radio 6 watt radio something like that so there's really no reason to put it in high which you know I still will to show you the output of it uh, this this bad boy runs beautiful on medium and low just letting you know then run it on high if you ever got a smaller radio you want to run with it Alrighty, as usual, let's show you what we're going to be putting into it. One watt dead key. Alright, about 20, 21 watts. Go ahead and kick this booger on. Real bright lights, boy. 14 volts. Let's turn it down about 13.8. Y'all know me. You gotta have it just perfect, don't I? We'll just leave it right there. I ain't feeling good today, so screw it. I ain't gonna get old OCD on this cotton picker. 13.9 volts. We got it on medium. Oh, 
do 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 they swing pretty well, so it looks like we got what about 150 on low. Yeah, about 150 on low. Let's put her to medium. No, audio, audio, 170 on medium. Look at, look at that amperage meter. Look at the difference of the dead key on medium and low. See that? Still swinging forward though. Two. Two. Now check out this dead key on high, fellas. And ladies. I'm sure there could be some ladies watching. Check this dead key on high. Damn, that's on the mall. <laughs> Some old dropper right there, buddy. All right, on high. See there? There's no hardly difference. That's what I'm telling y'all. That high setting. We're only getting like maybe ten watts difference, maybe even six. Only put it on high if you got a little small radio, y'all. Don't forget that with this amp now. Only put it on high with us if you got a small five watt radio, six watt radio, some small radio, perfect setting for high. Alright, let's go ahead and uh pop it up to well let me go ahead and show you the uh the uh, reflect it, 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 it. ten watt slug. Like a hundred milliwatts. Reflect looks wonderful. Had to reflect, uh, uh, fix the TX light as well. This right here is a TX light. As you see. Now watch this. Put it on medium. I mean low. Watch this. See how the TX light. It's not as bright in a watch. No, hold it. No, hold it. Oh, tear, tear, tear. Oh, tear, tear, tear. Need little TX circuits there. All right, we're going to bump it up to 15.3 volts. Let's put her on medium here. About 200 watts. Alrighty. We'll bump it down one time on high really quickly. Sometimes I've noticed when you like that, you put it up voltage up a little bit. It'll uh, sometimes it'll swing forward. Sometimes it won't though. So you only getting two ten. Watch it swing backward. Two, you see what I'm saying? Two. See that ain't good. And transistors are in saturation. Y'all don't forget now with this amp right here. I just left it be because some people actually need amps like this to where they can run it on a small radio and still get great output. So that's why I left it like that. Some of the sometimes I'll put a little bit of resistance on it to get that high setting knocked down so it can swing forward. But uh, I just decided to leave it be since you got a good medium and um, low doing wonderful. And you can leave that high setting for somebody with a smaller radio. So good to go on that. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and take this lid off. And show y'all what's going on inside here. Ok, 
can't remember if I put new transistors in this or not. I don't think I did. We'll be able to tell though here in just a moment. But I do know this had no transistors in it because I had actually took them out about two or three years ago and built a little two banger out of them. There were two 1446s in her. So I remember I had took them out. All right, let's take the cover off this piece here. I'm going to turn this power off. Okay. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're not new transistors. Got uh, two SRF 2072s. They are used, but they're in good, perfect working condition. As you can see, I reworked the whole entire high-low medium circuit through some big hefty 5-watt resistors on here, as you can see. We got a 10 ohm in line at all times. That's on the high setting. So like I said, if I wanted to, I could have made these right here a little smaller. The a bigger one right here to have that high setting. Um, not being over modulated with a 20 watt drive. But like I said, I thought it'd be a good idea to leave it be. We changed the uh, transistor for the preamp. There. Um... I had to rework the TX circuit. Change that right there for the TX circuit. And uh, we put a new cap right here for it. Um, I, put it um, I retuned the input and the out. That's why you see two uh, tr caps on here. Threw a trimmer on there, tuned it out. Had to use two caps to get, get the value just right. And same for the output tune right here. Okay, through a new 1,001 kilovolt um, silver dip mic on the output here. Okay, that's the original 330 right there. I replaced all the, uh, the, the LEDs. Um, man, my throat's hurting, y'all. Um, oh, yeah. I had one of these inductors on the input transformer. I had one blown over here. I'm finding this one a lot on these amps. This one right here was blown. So what I've done, since I didn't have another one laying around, I took it off of here, moved it over to here since it was the same one, and I put a choke on the input here. So that worked out fine. So there you go. It's a nice, good working amp. They only called about a 100 watt amp. As you see that 100 there, and it's hitting 200 watts on 15 volts. So I say it's working fairly good. Got a, a antenna tr a transmit sticker we put on there for you. And there she be. Y'all enjoy another gatekeeper repair. Just another uh, piece of equipment to keep this hobby a rolling. Gatekeeper set it. Feeling like pure dog doo doo over here in the south today. But hey, man, we keeping it rolling. We good and gone.